when you're ready to get the new armor, well, head off to Giza Plains because there's something else we need to get along the way. Yeah. Loving pseudo running yet? Of course, once you get the burning bow, that's when the 40 and 70 hours methods branch apart from each other. Here you shouldn't need the suit or run at all, but still I do not recommend going after the werewolves just yet. We're very close to that point, however. Cheap license points, might as well claim them. Just for reference, you must be heading to the north. This enemy called Slavin, steal from it. And hide. That's one item you need. Now you need one more. Maybe it figures it doesn't drop another one. So in that case, you could get two zones away, or find another one. You can pick up water stones from these if you need them. Remember, you need five of them. There's a village here, Nomad Village. Not really a high importance, however. But if you're not getting tanned hides too well, consider saving. So you can reset the enemies. Let's see, the Slavin was right over here. Earthstone junk. And it doesn't drop anything. Faster if I just reload. I love cheap license points. Three. Is that all you can do? Got the second one. Thankfully it's sleepy, so it's much easier to deal with. Now that we got that, it's off to the Esther Sand. Once you're in the Esther Sand, head all the way to South Bank Village. Of course, bash whatever enemies are along the way. Still, do not attack this. You won't stand a chance. Get sighted by a wolf to lure the others over. Here we go, cockatrice. Should you find Neckbed in this area, I would still recommend avoiding it. However, you could actually handle him right now, at this point in the game, where you're at. It's not advised, however. One thing you could do is you know, just walk right by the enemy while you're heading towards your destination. That's just another way to get some cheap license points while also making progress. That's another nice thing about Dubot. It's ranged. Just focus on getting to South Bank Village right over there. I want to get enemies if they're like right along the route. 
such as this. Sometimes getting sighted will draw others nearby. Save your game at the save crystal, because you're gonna need it. Once you saved, reload. Once you're back out on the field, go around bashing all these enemies for about, I think it was five or three minutes, I don't remember which. But do not get the characters. I mean it, do not get the characters. And yes, you can get these in one hit now. And there's actually a very good reason for that. Remember Greedin that I told you about a while ago? Well, now you need to get it to spawn, and the only way to do that is to get... Just wait for about five or so minutes. And, uh, just don't get the character. You get anything else you want, though. With the burning bow, just going through every enemy in sight. There's a Cactoid here. Do not get the Cactoid. Spare it. Don't even try to put a status effect on it either, which isn't really all that harmful. But still, spare them. Don't even touch them for the most part. By the time you go through this usual route that you might be familiar with, doesn't this look familiar? Hmm. Except this time you got a bow. should see it if you but if you've defeated a cactoid well then it's not going to show up here it is oh except that does not look too spiffy get around the other side so you can run to the village if you absolutely need to and fire off a quickening on it You must get as many hits as you can. How about some of this? Thanks to convenience. Got a surprise for you. Yeah, just missed it. Consider finishing it off, but it's going to be rather difficult. As you can probably tell, it's powerful. That's just blind, so don't worry about that. What do you know? Finished it off. Not bad. Raid Wolf, that is absolutely what you must get. It's tough. But of course, if you end up getting a game over, don't worry about that, because you need to quit and reload anyway. 
But hey, that's one braid wool. I need two. To get Greedan to respawn, save, quit, and reload. Looks like I cleared out the area again, so round two at Greedan, if it appeared yet. There it is. And if you're having problems with getting quickenings to work, Consider licensing a second quickening. There's one right here, so all you gotta do is just get this. And this. That'll give you a level 2 quickening, and it'll also double your MP. So now you actually have, not 82, but 164 for your maximum. But always use level 1 quickenings as much as you absolutely can. How about some of this? Some of this. Got a surprise for you. And of course, it's just That does about twenty five hundred damage to it right off the bat. problems, even with two quickenings, is wait for Protect to expire. It'll cost a little extra on time, but it can help. Another option, of course, is to fire off the quickening and immediately run to the town, since you're like right there. Protect is noted by that hexagonal blue icon next to, to the left of the life bar there. Just gonna get this ready. Just keep your distance and you should be fine. Yes, it takes about a minute to expire. Hey, it expired. Fire off a quickening and try to get as many hits as you can. Some of this. Don't be afraid to use your level two quickening if you absolutely need to. Of course, it takes longer time, but... This time, I don't get a concurrence, because I didn't get the three level ones. Another 4K. But since Protect expired... It's gonna be easier. Wow, that's a weaker one. Ooh, 128. Is 
that all you can do? It's down. And that's the second piece of Brave Wolf. With that, I am now done. Of course, I would recommend saving before you bother attempting to get what you're about to get. Now, make sure you have at least 3280 gil, because otherwise you won't be able to do get what you're trying to get. But, as usual, sell five of these, two of these, and both of those that I told you to get. Everything else, feel free to get rid of, except for the firestones, of course. But like before, spare some of them. You can get rid of the rest of these if you want. This time new bizarre items are available, but this is the one you should get. Don't get anything else unless you really want it. Hmm, so what's so special about that? First, obviously, you gotta license it. That license happens to be right there. Get this junk in the way. And get this. Hey, doesn't that look familiar? And, since it's mystic armor, you're probably thinking it's gonna be pretty bad for defense. But wow, look at the difference that has. That's pretty impressive. But, now how can Mystic Armor offer such good defense? It must really be miles ahead of whatever else is available. That is why you keep it. Of course, if you want to sacrifice the uh, some magic power in exchange for strength, which magic resist is kind of irrelevant, feel free to do so. Now these enemies will be rendered 100% helpless. Except for greed in, for which you don't need to go after anymore. For the most part, these are just respawns. Watch this thing. Zero is completely helpless. Now you feel free to get rid of these characters. License points, you know. And at this point, consider going after the augments in the licenses, since we won't be getting any more equipment for the 40-hour method. Or 70-hour method, I should say. 40-hour method, you'd have already advanced the story. And at this point, you can ignore the loot as well, since you really just do not need it. Hey, what do you know? That's neck bad. If you want, you could also license Protect, too. That means I have to go way over here to get it. Protect happens to be right on this license, but for future planning, since we need to dig into the augments, these are supposed to be gambit slots, but you can't get to the gambit system, so you got to take a detour around them. The best way is just through going through the white magic area. See, there is protect. Others you don't really need at the moment. Once you get white magic four. That's when you start heading in. This is junk as well, unfortunately. This you need to get as well, but even though it's expensive. This you could possibly get, but we need to get after the swiftness licenses, which are all right along in here. This is one right here, for example. 
That will speed things up. Uh, let's see, it's under green magic. Okay. Now, let's take on Neckbed. Just so you can see uh, just how powerful this thing is. This will add slow status. Yeah, it's powerful, alright. Make sure you can always make use of pseudo running. Yep, at this point, you can handle it pretty well. Especially since you can pseudo run, which helps a lot. Really delaying a thing's actions. See, it's not worth much action. It's not really even worth the effort. As a tip, when you get one enemy, and it's starting to go after you, consider leading it toward another enemy that's right along your route. Run at full speed as much as you can. example of doing that. Got one wolf after him. This way you're constantly going towards your destination, but you're also constantly attacking. Once you learn to master that, you're really going to be in good shape for what's to come.